Hey, what's up everybody? How we doing? Right quick, I just want y'all to get a glance of this. Yes, your boy is back clean shaven. Got a motherfucking fresh cut on y'all asses, you know, got a sign on the camera and shit, just saying. But I'm here to give you guys my review for The Real Households of Atlanta. This is season, I don't give a fuck what season or what episode it is. Damn it, we just here to do it, okay? So let me first uh, start off by saying the chances of me sitting here talking about everything, some of the fucking none. Y'all already, if y'all watch my reviews, y'all already know the motherfuckers I don't see it for. So unless I got some real good shit to say, I'm not going to talk about their asses, okay? I'm going to rename this episode Receipts, 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 okay? But that's what the fuck I didn't got. So I'ma just talk about some shit. Y'all gonna have to rock out with me, okay? And uh, like I said, and if y'all not feeling what the fuck I'm saying, y'all already know what the fuck y'all can do, okay? So uh, we gonna start off with Miss Candy. You know she talking with Carmen, and uh, in walks in Shamia, and then Don Juan walks in. It's like I am surprised to see you here. And I'm just here like, yeah, let's get this shit going. Like I was itching for. I've been I've been waiting for this shit the whole motherfucking weekend. Actually, whole motherfucking week. And, um, you know, she says that she wants to talk about last night. And, you know, she's kind of explaining her side of the story. And y'all know Candy be like, I don't know why she trying to get y'all that impression. Bless her heart. So, you know, common is, you know, <laughs> went the fuck in. You feel what I'm saying? It's just like. A conversation like that, if y'all was gonna have it, it probably should have been done in private. And the fact, and she pretty much common said the same exact shit I fucking said last week. Okay, is that the fact that y'all had the shit right the fuck outside the venue? You wanted somebody to fucking hear it, so y'all did that with the intent of fucking being messy. I don't give a fuck what nobody saying. And, and here's the thing. The reality is y'all can sit here and say that Don Juana was being, you know, extra and whatnot. But here's two things. Number one, had they not had the fucking conversation outside the venue, this shit wouldn't happen. One, okay? Two, how fucking dare the fucking females on this damn show? Here, here's the thing. So when Glenn went smooth the fuck off, there was like, we're going to sit here and say black lives matter. Oh my gosh, white people depicting black people like da 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 da. But as soon as Don Juan sit here and interjects himself as some, oh, so now he's being aggressive. Now he's being the aggressor. So the same exact shit they were saying about Glenn, you know, fuck you little bitch, motherfucker. So y'all. Fuck y'all. All of y'all who on that motherfucking bandwagon, fuck all y'all. All of y'all can sit here, eat a bag full of dicks, take some, put it up your pussy, stick some in your motherfucking asshole, and then y'all can eat my ass and chew my motherfucking drawers. Any fucking way. So, and Don Juan is pretty much just like, how the fuck you finna sit here and, you know, listen to somebody that don't even know what the Underground Railroad is, so she obviously don't understand what the fuck shade is. I'm just sitting here like, Don Juan, come on now, bro. Come on. <laughs> But I was here for it. Definitely here for it. I, and here's the thing. I'm, I was hoping, I was really hoping Candy was going to give it to Shamia, but she didn't. And I don't think anybody else caught it. But what did she say? I don't like y'all talking about my friend because you see I don't talk about Candy. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong, fact checkers. I could have swore that Candy and Shamia were friends before <clears throat> her and uh, Horsha. But y'all let me know. Because like I said, I don't know, but I need for y'all to let me know. But just that whole entire set, that whole entire scene. I'm just like, alright. The fuck ever. And now, you know, let, let's let's move on over to fake room. It's nice. They, they you know, they show the opposite side of, you know, showing her little office and shit. I'm like, oh, that is so cute. Where's her fucking receptionist? So they sit down. And, uh, you know, Ty, you know, pretty much said the reason he's never addressed her before is every time they saw each other, it was not the right time. On one hand, I'm going to say that is good. You know, Ty understands, okay, we're here. This is not the right time to do it. But at the same exact time, if there's business to be taken care of, and uh, if you want to sit here and run around with the bitch, better have my money, then, you know... You could have, you know, hit up just like, look, I, I do think that we should sit here and talk about this and that, this and that, this and that. Of course, don't turn up at any fucking events, but if you know your coin is that important to you, then, hey, hit her ass up. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, Todd, I'm not really feeling you on that. And, you know, Phaedra, of course, here's the thing, because everybody want to sit here and ride for, you know, Phaedra and be like, she reads and she hears it on some real shit. 
It is seldom you will see her, you know, shade and read on her, on her fucking feet. It is seldom you will fucking see her do that. Because she does a lot of that shit, you know, uh, in her confessionals. Because even when she's on a reunion, you can tell a lot of what she says, the shit was contrived. And she was thinking about it the whole damn time as she was watching this shit back. She's very unauthentic. Very. But... She wants to sit here and say that, oh, well, maybe he's uh, searching through the couch for some money, you know, saying that, oh, it's, it could be because his uh, L.A. jobs have run dry or maybe his allowance from candy. And uh, here's the thing. Todd, I'm not going to say he was established, but Todd had money coming in before candy. Todd is now married to candy and they are partners on certain Project, so he's gonna get money off of that, regardless of what you want to say. I mean, even though that you know they need to revamp the show, he does have Hollywood divas. Not to mention, there are other jobs that he has, and he is always going to be a producer. And last that I checked, producers get paid more than the motherfuckers that's in front of the camera, i.e., like Miss Fake your Parks. Just saying, but the shade is she throwing, but you talking all this mess. But isn't your cash cow, isn't that motherfucker locked up right now? Okay. Now, what I enjoy is her trying to sit here and make it seem like money was a big deal, and Ty brought it up. I'm now I'm actually always here for Bravo when they sit here and show the fucking receipts, show with her saying how um, you know if money can make her sleep at night, she'll be okay. But she's not lacking in that. They show you know uh, one of the birthday parties. They should show some of the other you know events that she had. What else did they fucking show? Um. They, uh, I think it was Kenya talking about her getting her breasts done and all this other stuff. It's like, you have all of this money to just sit here and just blow on stuff, but you can't pay him what you owe him. And Todd even said, all you had to do was provide me a picture and drop that last check. And she was like, well, I was going through this, going through that. And I understand going through some things, but again, let you tell it. If you got the money, how hard it is to, you know, cut that check. And no matter what you say, if you don't pay somebody all of what you owe them, you're never going to get the finished product. You know what I'm saying? That's like me doing something for somebody else, and they looking at me like, well, I ain't got the product. Well, you still owe me some motherfucking money. I'm not going to just give you this shit knowing that you still owe me money. That's fucking stupid. Anyway, do I really want to talk about Horsha and her being selfish? If they give me more, I'll talk about it. If not, I'm not going to talk about that, hoe. Okay, so uh, Candy and Cynthia are both on a double date with their respective husbands. Uh, well, I, I'm going to be nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to be nice for now. So, um, you know, they're pretty much talking, of course, at the event. The uh, video release party comes up. Candy uh, begins talking about, I'm glad y'all like it because we had other reviews. And brings up I'm trying not to belch on camera, y'all. But brings up uh, Horsha Fatra and, you know, Shamia and, you know, that whole thing. And I'm glad this came back up because there was a point that I forgot to make. But uh, pretty much says that, you know, uh, Horsha is, is not dumb to the bullshit and, you know, cannot believe that she's pretty much championing it up for um, Fatra. But even goes so far as I mentioned, uh, you know, she picks sides. She takes sides. And, you know, there's a lot of that in their service, but, you know, it is what it is. And, and Candy even went so far as to say it, and I don't think I've ever mentioned it. But, you know, when she was down and out and going through her shit with Cordell, I mean, the reality is this. Who gave her her first fucking break, despite the fact all the bullshit and the troubles that came along with it? Candy gave that to her. And even with the comment that Candy made last week about working with friends, I mean, that shit can even be extended to Horsha because it's like, you know, her wanting to sit here and make demands, this and a third, not showing up to practice and then all this other stuff, trying to sit here and be nice and give to somebody that really ain't got shit. I mean, come on now. And then they shaded her with her uh, record, the flat line, but I mean, well, with flat line, but I mean, I mean, the, like I said, it's a joke all in within itself. So again, like I said, I'm only going to talk about the pertinent shit. Y'all getting the meat and taters today. Okay, I'm gonna try to give y'all as much of this as I can before it comes back on. <clears throat> and when it comes back on, I'll pause it and then I'll come back in because I'm trying to hurry to get this out because again, y'all not gonna get a review review. Y'all just gonna get some meat and taters tonight. So, uh, as Cynthia's um, eyewear uh, uh, 
customer appreciation party. Um, mm-hmm. Again, I'm gonna skip all the bullshit. You got Candy, Shamia, Don Juan, Carmen, and Horsha. Horsha, you know, walks over. You can, like, there's just so much shade. And Candy's just kind of looking like, mm, you know, how Candy do. And Cand- uh, Horsha wants to talk to Candy in private and walks away. Now, Don Juan and uh, Carmen did not want that to happen, so they walk over there. Now, here's some, here's some real shit, you know, regardless of how the fuck y'all want to take it. Kenya made a good point. Even if people didn't catch it, Candy is fucking pregnant. So the last thing that she needs is to sit here and get into an altercation with a motherfucker, especially, you know, Horsha, who let her tell that she the baddest motherfucking bitch and she'll sit here and she will be your ass. Because, yes, can't, oh, Candy is somewhat vulnerable. I still think that Candy can sit here and drag a motherfucker, but still irrelevant. And on the real, uh, yeah, they got to sit there and protect, uh, you know, their balls because uh, that, that, that paycheck, them coins. So, um,. Of course, Shamia joins in to Don Juan apologizes for how things came out, but doesn't apologize for what the fuck he said. Horsha does, did not want to uh, have a conversation with them there. She felt that she was ganged up on. And, you know, she literally runs away from the entire uh, conversation. And Candy says, you know, don't expect... Well, actually, before she ran away, Candy was just like, we don't have to have a conversation at all, but don't expect no extra push from me, meaning... Don't expect me to sit here and do shit for you or help your career further in any way, shape, or form. You bitch, you didn't just burn the motherfucking bridge with me. And I'm just like, well, it's about damn time, Candace. It's about damn time, Candace. And, uh, yeah, so I'll come back and I'll give y'all my uh, overall take on the uh, lurch that uh, Candy and uh, Horsha has. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I had actually <clears throat> seen a uh, snippet of uh, Horsha and Lauren going at it. And I thought it was this episode, but it's actually an episode. Actually, I saw the snippet. It's been out for like a week now. <clears throat> now y'all probably looking like, what the fuck? Again, I, y'all know what my damn handle is. It's spilling all the tea. I guess the tea. My cup is always full. Actually, the shit runneth over. But I will talk about Lauren and... Uh, Horsha in its entirety next week. So when that cut pops up, I'll talk about what happened on this episode on that one, you know. So I'm, I'm gonna save it all for that. But at this particular uh, luncheon with uh, Horsha and Candace, <laughs> excuse me, and don't 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 do that. I'm a grown ass man, men belch, okay, boys burp. That's that's how the fuck that shit work. Into way. Uh. Horsha pretty much said she didn't like that her team was there. Candy whole thing is because certain shit was said around, you know, them. It's best they be there so it's not one of those, oh, well, I didn't say this. And I get what Candy is saying. Now, what she also should have said is, you know, why don't me, you, uh, Fatra, and Don Juan, and uh, Shamia get together because amongst the four of them the truth could really come out or we could just sit here and let them watch this shit and handle the shit at the fucking reunion and uh you know Kay is saying you know bloggers were there and actually somebody actually blogged about the shit <clears throat> so pretty much what Candy is saying is regardless the shit would have got back to me regardless and y'all are at event with nothing but bloggers so you really expect that this shit wasn't gonna pop the f- you know like it wasn't gonna you know be aired in some way shape or form and Candy makes a good fucking point, okay? And, uh, you know, Horsha says she doesn't want to take sides and that she's not taking sides. And, you know, Candy pretty much just like, you know, don't talk to me about this because you pretty much you're jumping on the bandwagon. You're believing, you know, the hype. And she really kind of said you believe in the hype when... Because here's the thing, I don't think y'all caught it, but Horsha was trying to do the whole, well, she needs me a little bit more of you. And that's when she was like, don't believe the hype. Because uh, she said the best. She's a liar. Okay, so she's going to do whatever she can to paint this particular image. And she's going to save faith. And we know she a liar because, again, I mean, all y'all got to do is just watch the damn season. Bravo does a good job of shaking the fuck out of her and showing all the fucking receipts of her fucking line. So, I mean, I'm not saying, I'm just saying. And Candy, whole thing is, you know what? T- she wants to just go ahead and just leave the past in the past and just move on to the next big thing. And if you guys have not seen the blab that was done last night by Squeaky, by Squeaky Joe and myself, Tiki44, um, James Colwell, much love from KY. I'm trying to see to anybody else 
that's a YouTuber uh, get on there I think that's it I think Lady Nika I will leave uh, links uh, in the iCard all you gotta do is click on it it'll be there and here's the thing they even talked about Mama Joyce and lo and behold she gonna be on the next motherfucking episode so I can't wait. I'm going to be here for the bullshit. Hopefully, y'all here. I know y'all probably want to get the whole motherfucking thing. Y'all ain't getting the whole motherfucking thing. If I piss some of y'all off, it is what the fuck it is. I'm going to say what the fuck I got to say. But you guys let me know down in the comment section what your opinions are. So, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see all of you next week for the very next video. And that's all I got. Peace.